This is it. We're down to the two best teams in the world and just moments away from the most exciting fixture in football, the World Cup Final. Stay with us. We'll have all the action live here on EA TV. Well, this is it. No grander occasion in football, and what a perfect venue befitting the unique circumstances. I'm Derek Ray, and with me here on the commentary box to enjoy the spectacle is Stuart Robson. And we're just moments away from kickoff now in the World Cup final. It's England against Brazil. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. The ball back with England now. And he has options available. Good work to win the ball back high up the pitch. Vinicius now with Paqueta but it stopped a promising attack in its tracks and you wouldn't be surprised if there's a card coming out here so we have an early booking here to report Stuart yeah and I think the referee's absolutely right he's just making it clear to all the players out there he's not going to take any messing about here Well, how can we put it? Not a free kick that's going to live long in the memory. Well, how we can put it, it's a poor effort, poor technique, probably the wrong decision as well. That needed to go into the box. Madison. Shaw. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. Well, who will be the player to decide the outcome, to determine the course of events? No reason at all why it won't be this man, Stuart. What do you anticipate seeing from him? Well, Derek, we know he can be subtle, he can be clever, but his greatest strength is his power when he's shooting. He's a tremendous striker of the ball, and he makes it really difficult for goalkeepers. James. Madison. Gallagher. Room to roam on the wing for England. He's got to score! The opening goal in the final! And how important could that be as a direction pointer? Well, here's the replay, and he shows great awareness to play this through ball. And from there, he never looked like missing. That's a lovely goal. So Brazil get the game restarted. Disappointed to have conceded. Can they come up with a quick response? Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Well, what can they do to stop him running at them? Must score! Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best, but there's still plenty for him to do. Under all sorts of pressure from the defender, he's just able to keep him at bay and finishes with a plumb. It's a great goal. So the ball rolling again at 2-0. Well, the referee allowing advantage to accrue to them. Vinicius Jr. Firing completely. Yeah, he's gone for power, but the contact was never right. It's a poor effort, really. Well, as you can see, England haven't had that much of the ball, but their speed of attack when they win the ball back has been breathtaking. It's been a really good performance from them so far. So a throw in here. This is looking threatening. 
would be disappointed if he didn't take that one cleanly. Rodrigo. And it's a good Brazil move in the making. Well, that pass easy on the eye. That is really alert defending just when the situation looked dangerous. And the whistle is sounded for half time in this game. So off and running again here on the back of a dizzying first half performance by England. Can they produce more of the same in this half? And with that, the attack fizzles out. Bellingham. Now can they counter clinically? Well, that break looks so promising, but nothing coming from it. Vinicius Jr. Vinicius. And return to Jesus. Now they stop them in their tracks. Vinicius Jr. Can he get one back? Still alive. Well, that's the end of that for now. Useful looking ball. and you truly sense it's a matter of how many well here's the replay and just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back while the movement in the box is equal to it it's such good timing what a goal so underway again and England really beginning to run away with this now the scoreline threatening to get ugly here Bruno Guimaraes, Rodrigo, now Eder Meritao, Jesus. And the timing was perfect, ball one. And they will be awarded a free kick for that. And the substitution will occur now. Vinicius Jr. And that'll be England's throw-in. Madison. Here's Luke Shaw. Foden. Oh, fancy footwork. And after the cross, defensive action called for. Renan Lodi is with Vinicius Junior. Marquinhos on to Jesus just 10 minutes to go Madison an incisive pass and he's in the clear a goal how about that he's put it away to make it a hat-trick Well, here it is again. The through ball is absolutely inch perfect. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. Well, five minutes remaining, but you just feel this is over already. Rashford. It's there for him. attacking football at its finest well here's the goal again and what a wonderfully weighted pass this is and what a powerful finish from Rashford he just makes it look so easy what a good goal well it's been such a one-sided game you just wonder how many more they can add Well, 
totaling up all the stoppages. We'll have two additional minutes. And there goes the final whistle. England have won the World Cup for the first time since 1966. And I have to say, Derek, they fully deserve it. The world champions. It's music to their ears and music to the ears of their fans. And this is what you dream about as a young player. And these players are now World Cup winners. It's absolutely magnificent for them.